House of the Dead 2 for the Wii short video game review. The AMS, which is apparently what they're called, returns to fight more zombies. This time they're the work of Goldman, who was apparently behind Curian in the first game, even though he was not at all referred to in that one. And this time it's not a house, making the title a bit illogical, no worse than Goldman's actual motives, but a city which is running rampant with zombies. It's again a rail shooter, and the gore and creature designs is again pretty good, although the creature designs isn't quite as good as it was in the first one, I'd say. We do get some new ones, and this one does have one of the greatest bosses, both as just the design and the fight itself in any of these games. The sound and music are great, the roars and such of the monsters ensure that you know these are not human. The, these, you know, whatever these are, they need to die. It's a less intense game than the first one and considerably less cinematic, but it is also a longer game, sadly also goofier. It's two or three times as long as the first one, and thus there is a longer time that you have to really be, you know, on your guard and not get hit too much, not die. The graphics have improved, and the setting, you know, allows for various different locations, including just city streets, a river, a Coliseum for some reason, and a high-rise techno, you know, high-tech building. So, you know, there's more var variance in that, obviously. It is a fairly challenging game, and whether you're playing as one player or two, there's an appropriate amount of zombies for, you know, the both of you or for just you. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.